So let us see how to revert the password on Cisco routers. Password reverting in the sense, let's say take an example, you have a router. So assume that I got some router here. So I'm going to get into the console screen of the router one. So this is my router here. And already this router is already pre-configured with some configurations. Let's say there are some already some IP addresses, some ICLs and some IP addresses and some routing configurations. Everything is pre-configured here. So I'm going to save this configurations. And on this router, assume that there is a console password. So I'm going to give some password which I really don't remember. And then there is an enable password which I really don't remember again. And then I try to reload the router. So due to any reason, maybe you got an old router in the stores and you want to use that particular router in the production network okay or maybe you got a oh, you got some other router from different branch office and you don't know the password of the router or maybe uh, you lost your passwords or maybe the old administrator did not share the correct passwords so whatever the reason when you come across a scenario where you're not able to log into the router because you really don't know the passwords then we can do some we can make some necessary steps to get back your passwords that is what we call as password reverting or password overwriting we can say in simple we are overwriting with a new passwords okay so to do make this possible first you need to have a console connection so first you need to make sure that there is a console connection because when we do this process we generally reboot the router and then you have to open hyper terminal application the white screen whatever you'll see okay hyper terminal screen you can see the, this is hyper terminal screen right now it is asking me the console password and I don't remember the password so now to make this possible there are some series of steps we need to configure here so if you remember the booting process when we discuss the basic sys basic booting process of the router so by default the router performs rom you know rom is a chip on the motherboard which tells from how to load the ios and then it goes to the flash and from the flash the ios is loaded into the ram and then it will also load your NVRAM configurations into the RAM. So now by default, this is the default booting sequence what we discussed in our basic classes. But now the problem is, this NVRAM is having all your configurations. It contains all your passwords, whatever the password we configured. It also contains the IP addresses. It also contains your routing configurations, ACL configurations, NAT configurations, whatever you need. So by default, when you power on the router, it first it will load the flash into the RAM, that is okay. But also it will load your NVRAM configurations into the RAM also. And at present, right now, I don't know the passwords. Anyway, it will load everything, that's okay, but I don't know the passwords. And if it loads the password, then definitely it will prompt me the password. So I just want to make sure that the router should not ask the password or I should be able to override the, without new passwords. So, but once, if you're not able to log in, then how you can override with the new passwords? So that's the reason we have to make sure that we need to skip one of the step. So to overcome these things, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we need to skip one step. We need to skip NVRAM loading into the RAM. So you have to make sure that NVRAM should not load into the RAM. That is something what I need to make sure that I wanted to skip this step, the second step here. The first step, it will load the iOS. Second step, I have to tell to the router, router, please don't load your NVRAM configurations to the RAM. Because if it loads, then definitely it will ask me the password. And I don't know the password exactly. So to skip the NVRAM loading into the RAM, you have to change the configuration register file. There is one file for configuration register file. The default configuration register file is 2x0x2102. And you have to change this register file to 0x21. 4.2. So let me show you the default configuration register file on any other router because I'm not able to uh, verify on the router one because so when you give show version you can see the register file on the router 0x2102 is up. So I have to change the register file to 0x2142. So when you change it will change the default program coding, the booting sequence of the router. So to make this change the register file, you cannot do it in normal mode. You have to go to the Roman mode. So if you want to make changes to the 
register file you cannot make changes directly through uh, in the normal mode you have to go to the rom monitor mode which means you have to boot from the rom you have to boot with the rom directly so to boot from the rom if you remember by default the router will boot from the flash in case if there is no flash it will try to load the ios from the tftp server we'll see next sessions and if there is no tftp server then it will try to boot from the mini ios present in the rom so to change the register file you have to boot from rom mode generally we call this as roman mode generally we call this as roman mode and to get into the roman mode at the time of booting we have to press control plus shift break break so these three buttons you have to use at the same time if you want to get into the roman mode so why we are getting into roman mode because so that i can skip the so that i can change the register file because why i'm getting a roman mode so that i can change the register file so why i'm changing the register file because so that i can skip the nvram why i'm skipping the nvram because if it loads it will ask me the password and i don't want my router to prompt for the password so that's the main reason why uh, we use control plus shift plus break here to enter into roman mode so that we can change the register file to 0x2142 that's what we are going to do here and then finally reset command will reboot the routers if you are using fixed routers like 2500 series routers you have to use o by r o by r 0x2142 and then i command on the next line to initialize the router nothing but reboot and if you are using modular routers you have to use config 0x2142 command so once you give these commands now the router boots without prompt frame for any passwords and it will simply enters into setup mode and you just need to skip the setup mode with the no command that's what we need to do so let me just show you till this point i'll try to go to router 1 where i am not able to log into the router so i'll try to power off the router so in the in general the real routers we need to use power off button on the back side and then power on the router at the time of booting use control plus shift plus break don't wait for the router to finish the booting process at the time of booting only you have to press if you are using modular routers you will see this mode and if you are using fixed routers you will see this mode and if you are using modular routers you have to use these two commands if you are using fixed routers you have to use these two commands so the first command i'll use as config 0x to 142 uh, and then reset command so once you give reset command the router boots without prompt frame for any password this time now the router boots without asking any passwords and enters into setup mode you can see the setup mode here so simply skip the setup mode with a no command in general you get into this setup mode if your nvram is blank or in our example our nvram is not blank but we just skip the nvram by changing the register file so give no command now you can see i can enter into router without any conf without any passwords and if you verify show startup configurations you can see everything is pre configured here everything is there except the password acls routing and all those things and i want to make sure that i should not lose these configurations so if you don't want to lose these configurations so simply what we can do is uh we can get into enable command now next thing so already we are in enable command now if you don't want to lose any configurations so this command is very important copy startup configurations to running configurations so when you copy startup to running configurations this command is very important if you don't want to lose the initial configurations of the ram because now already we are inside the router but still the nvram configurations are present before you make any changes you have to copy that nvram now into the ram so we are not going to load the nvram at the time of booting process so we are skipping at the time of booting process and we are loading it once we get into the ram directly once we get into the command line of the router now we have to load nvram into the ram because if you don't load the nvram into load ram by default the blank ram because right now the blank is ram is blank the blank ram will be overwrite the nvram which means you will lose all your configurations i don't want to do that so that's the reason first you copy the nvram into the ram now and then make any changes so once we do this now you can see i got all the configurations with ip addresses 
so normally your interfaces goes to shutdown state by default so you can just use no shutdown command and you can see everything is back to the running configurations now once we <coughs> load your NVRAM into the running configurations copy <coughs> running configuration start up to running configurations we need to get into the configuration mode again and change all the new passwords so whatever the passwords you don't know maybe most of the time when we use show run the password will be encrypted because maybe I cannot able to read that one so in that case better you override with a new passwords so I don't know the whichever the password you don't know simply make new passwords like Cisco I'm using login and then you can say line vty0 space 4 password let's say Cisco login and then enable secret password is Cisco 123 something like that so try to make sure that you change all the passwords whatever the password you don't know so override with the new passwords so I'm going to override everything with a new passwords and then once you change the passwords back to the new passwords you have to change the register file back to 02 because if you don't set the register file back to 0x2102 every time it will skip the NVRAM every time which I really don't want so once our job is done now we need to make sure that we need to set the register file back to 02 and then we have to save the configurations and before I reload I just want to check you can see register file is still 2142 it will be 02 at the next reload which means I have to reload the router so make sure that you save the configurations before you reload the router so after reloading check for the configurations will be same and you will be able to log in with the new passwords whatever you configured so I can see here I configure password as Cisco and enable password I configure as Cisco123 and you can see I have all the configurations show running configurations you can see everything is perfect and even if I verify show IP interface brief I can see all the interfaces will have the IP address even if you verify show IP route I can see I did not lose any of the configurations and I was in a position to I, I recovered the I override with a new password so whenever you come across this scenario these are the series of steps which you need to follow to override with a new password